We are at the other car parking from Four Winds Car Park. So Four Winds Car Park is down there. We are in Merivale area. And we've come down this track here. We're going to attempt to get up Great Miss Tour today. That's Great Miss already rising above the horizon. Got a lovely sunny day for it today, but the wind is still a bit cold. I've got my Tim Poolish beanie on. It's not really protecting my ears as much as I wanted, but we'll see how it goes. Also, I stubbed my toe last night on the kitchen steps, so I've got to try and go slow. So I didn't like too much how this cam performed the other day um, with the grip and this wind cut mic on Great Lynx Tour. It's not quite doing what I needed it to do. Uh, the grip is not really steadying my shots enough. I need to think of some kind of... Uh, I mean it's nice to hold and everything but I need to think of some kind of steady cam thing maybe some kind of gimbal mounted thing. As for the Rode Video Micro microphone with its wind sock, fluffy wind sock, it's cutting the wind but it's not very good because of the directionality of it. Um, I'm probably quite loud now whereas if I go behind the microphone I'm probably not very loud unless maybe I put my hand up like this probably got my thumb in frame there because I'm not using the grip today to try and keep my shot steadier so I think I've still got to keep adapting try and get some new equipment later on there's the track we're aiming for that comes up from Four Winds car park normally and goes up alongside We're on the track now. I've seen the black soil around here and there. But yeah, but it's in a, it's in a band. straight layer across. Yeah. I don't know if this is ten tolls or something, but they're very loud people singing on the mall. And this, the track, the main track ends, but there's this little grey side track with these kinds of stones uh, here. And we're going to try and take them up to a great miss, I think. There's an unknown wood there that's like pine wood. We're 
higher than Great Staple Tour already. I've just realised these sunglasses, which are polarised, uh, change the view of my Sony RX100 LCD when you turn it. It's quite funny. I don't know if I can show it, to be honest. Can you see it goes black? Dad's going across country here. The grass is quite fine and quite flat around here, so it's like the whole thing is a track. I think this black material is like peat. Could turn into bogs when it gets waterlogged, maybe. I'm liking that, liking that. Another one of these Dartmoor moonscapes. Granite rocks just randomly littered everywhere. This is what I call not the best walking route. You have to kind of zigzag your way through. There's a standing stone there. Let's see if I can head for that. It's a bit like rock pooling, like jumping the sort of rocks you find rock pools in, but a lot less hazardous to be fair. Let's see if there's any markings on this one. So we've got an avenue of rocks along here that looks almost like houses alongside the side of the street. That's how I would characterise that. I like how everything's like steps around here. Big, fat, broad steps. That is, uh, what is that? Great Staple Tour from above. Middle Staple Tour, Great Staple, and the background Cox Tour. Foreground roost. British military must definitely have to climb that all the time to put that flag up, the night flagpole. And I guess that's the highest point. Dad's gone over to the right, I'm going to try going over to the left. There's lots of spiky 
They look like mini peaks from far off, but they're actually quite large rock structures. Mud. There's the top, eh? I suppose this is going to be what it's like in summer, only way hotter than this. And maybe the wind chill won't be as bad. That's an interesting black lichen there. Um, this may be boggy. It's another quite giant one. Oh, there's Dad, he's already gone around. That giant wall. What you saying there? So there's another pile there. Yeah. What do you say? A bit higher than? Well, we're look, we're higher than Great Staple Tour, and Roos, and Middle, and Cox. We're higher than most of the tours, to be honest, because it's a very tall one. Yeah, this is one of the biggest ones around here. Yeah. Yeah. down there. It might be boggy here. Uh, that's right. There's an armoured patrol down there. What back. do you mean, armoured patrol? Army. Do you mean, oh, British Army, are they? Yeah. Where's that? There's the down coming through from over there. Hmm. Yeah, I see it. Oh, they got frogs, eh? Is that what that is? Frogs spawn? Yeah, must be, eh? I wouldn't have thought, and there's a load more in the, in the bigger one over there. Yeah. I'm uh, shadowing it. Oh, it looks like whatever, if it is frog spawn, it's sort of attached to pieces of rock that are in there. Oh, these ones down here. Well, maybe that's where they lay them, secure. This big, this oh, yeah. But well, they were. There's more. They've already passed on by. They were, they were stopped a minute ago, didn't they? Come down a track, they were just waiting. building over here, some kind of shack. A lot of it, isn't there? Multiple peaks. Yeah, it looks like a spiky crown from far away, sort of. But each little but point yeah, is yeah, actually yeah. a large... Maybe. Oh, 
alcove thingy here. Just come look at from here, Tom. In the middle, the like line, a reptile smile. The, yeah. But then yeah, these like a bit here, of a monitor lizard. I mean, that, that, that one in the middle looks like it's sort of a, a fish. With, it looks like there's two <laughs> eyes there and a mouth. Can you see? Did it make it out with a mouth? I don't it? know. I think you're, you're um, seeing things that you could just interpret or read into it. But <laughs> it's like when you look at clouds or something and you see shapes yeah, in clouds. the um, rock spoil at Fogginton Quarry. Which was a cool place to visit. River is that? I'm not quite sure. Tavy, maybe. There's tons of wind here. Tons of wind. So hopefully the wind cut mic is cutting all of that out. boots in that. You got the road zigzagging in front of Pewtor. So you've got the sea and Plymouth. It's a little hidey pond. Dad wants to be director, he's telling me to do this big pan to show all the rocks. whole thing is Miss Tor, Great Miss Tor. It's 
So we're heading back down now. That was a great miss tour. Lots of space up there for tourists and multiple peaks. Uh, not much space down the bottom for cars though, so you got to find a place to park. The car parking spaces are quite full on a sunny day like today. So there are a couple of other like little lay-by bits you can slowly pull into. So try them. <laughs> That's all for now.